I'm Elizabeth Alfano, host of the Plant-Based Business Hour and founder of Plant Powered Consulting. On today's episode of The Vegan Museum Presents, we sit down with advisory council member, author, and founder of the Jane Unchained News Network, Jane Velez Mitchell. I went vegan about a quarter of a century ago. I was a local news anchor working at Paramount Studios in Hollywood, and I interviewed a guy named Howard Lyman. And he is a fourth generation cattle rancher who got very ill and made a pact with God. God, if you get me out of this alive, I'll reveal the horrors and the secrets of my toxic industry. And that's exactly what he did. He was even on Oprah. He wrote a book called Mad Cowboy. And I did the interview. He told me all about the horrors of the dairy industry, of the cattle industry. And afterwards, he and his very fierce publicist, Mar Nealon, came up to my cubicle and they said, we hear you're a vegetarian. And I said, yes, I am. And they said, do you eat dairy? And I hung my head because he had just explained the horrors of ripping babies from their mothers and just the whole industry, how awful it is. And I very shamefaced said, yes. And they both looked at me and they pointed their finger right at my nose and they said, liquid meat, like that. And that was the moment I went vegan. And I never looked back. About a month later, somebody accidentally put Parmesan cheese in my salad. And I took one taste and I spat it out. And I said, that's disgusting. I used to love Parmesan cheese, but my taste buds had reverted to their factory settings. And uh, I was I was free of the breast milk of another species for the rest of my life. Identifying as a vegan to me is the gift of a lifetime. I say I have three gifts. Getting sober. I wouldn't be doing anything if I wasn't sober. All right, I'd be sitting in a bar talking about how much I love animals with some stranger having an idiotic conversation. Second thing, coming out as gay. Um, once I got sober, I had to uh, get honest with myself and others and voila. And the third miracle of my life, going vegan. And they're all interconnected. They happened around uh, the same time in my life, the general era. And to me, veganism is a gift. I can go through life without that that guilt and that shame uh, that I'm killing. Uh, the average person kills many, many thousands of animals over the course of their lives. And on some level, they know it. And it affects their psyche. And so I am happy, joyous, and free of that um, terrible burden. And now I want to share that with others. You know, I always use the addiction metaphor. When I was in my disease of drinking, I thought drinking was the solution when it's the problem. And it's the same thing with folks who are grappling with health issues, with depression, with all sorts of things. They think eating that comfort food, the burger and the shakes, that that's the solution when actually it's the problem. They think that going vegan is a sacrifice when it's actually an adventure and a gift. And I always say my worst day sober is better than my best day drunk. And I would also say my worst day as a vegan is better than my best day as a meat eater. Well, I have a magnet on my refrigerator that quotes Oscar Wilde, be yourself, everybody else is already taken. It took me a long time to really learn to be myself and I'm still learning. I'm learning aspects of myself that I didn't know existed. And I would say be true to yourself and let your conscience be your guide. To quote Jiminy Cricket, if you really think about eating animals, it's morally wrong. I think we all know that. Uh, we don't have to. There's millions and millions of people who are not only alive, but they're thriving. They have healthier statistics than the general population. So it's simply a habit. Kick the habit because it's killing you. It's killing the planet. And it's contributing to terrible things like world hunger, dietary racism. If you're running around with a yoga mat going ahimsa, ahimsa, love and peace, but you're paying somebody else to do your killing for you, you're just as culpable, if not more, because that person often doesn't have a choice in what job they're going to have. So please think about what you say you're about and align your actions with your values.
That's it. 